Hello, JFK family. This is Miss LaSalle. I wanted to take a minute or two just to jump on here and remind everyone how to access three very important things. One, our JFK webpage. Two, your Google Drive. And three, your Google Classroom. And that's right, you heard me correctly, your Google Classroom. Your teachers are going to be posting lessons, activities, assignments, materials, and quizzes daily. It's your job to go into your Google Classroom every day, Monday through Friday, and complete your assignments. In order to do that, you're gonna need to know how to get there. So let's get started. From your home screen, you are going to want to find and open your Chrome browser. This is what it looks like when you open up your Chrome browser. You'll get to your Google search page. If you don't already know how to get to the JFK website, don't worry. All you have to do is type in the search box, JFK School Newark. And you're gonna see that the first website, the first link that pops up is our school website. From here, you're gonna notice this is the only page you're gonna need. Okay, you're going to be able to get to Moby Max from here or here, which you should be doing every day. And you're going to be able to get to your Google Drive. The way you're going to get to your Google Drive is you're going to go all the way up to the top right hand page here. And this triangle shape next to the YouTube logo is where you're going to access your Google Drive. Click on it and you're going to be prompted to sign in. Now you're going to have to sign in with your student ID and your JFK password. Now you should know these by now. You should know your ID number and you should know that special JFK password. If for some reason you've forgotten, don't worry. You can have your parents call the office for assistance. You can reach out to your teachers. But one way or another, you'll be able to get it. So I want to give a shout out to the student who allowed me to use their account so that I can show you what this looks like from a student's perspective. You know who you are, so thank you very much. So once you log in, you'll be in your Google Drive. And what you're going to need to do in order to access your classroom is go right up here, back up to the right hand side at the top, this little dial pad, it looks like a little phone dial. You're going to click on it. It's gonna open up this menu and you're gonna find classroom. Classroom is right here, it looks like a little chalkboard. You're gonna click on that and open up your classroom. So here is where all of the classrooms you've been invited to are going to be. This student has been invited to join three different classrooms, music, art, health, and phys ed, character corner, and transition. When you're invited, you'll see a little join button down here. You can click the join button and then you'll be able to go into the classroom. As you can see, this student has already joined the transition page. So once you go in and join, you can click open your classroom and it'll take you to the main page, the stream. Now this is where everything that your teacher posts, any comments, any articles, Anything that they want to say is going to be on this page. It can get a little busy. So what I really want you to pay close attention to is this middle tab right here, classwork. You're going to click on that every day. This is going to be where all of your assignments are listed nice and neatly, and they're going to be dated and in order. The newest one will always be at the top. So you can see this student has an assignment, a ReadWorks assignment. She's gonna click on her assignment. She'll see it here and then we're gonna view it. This little button right here, view assignment. Now from here, we can open the assignment, follow the directions the teacher has given her. And then when she's completed, she can mark as done. Sometimes it might say submit. There might be a Google doc up here that you need to fill out or a Google form. It depends on the assignment and what the teacher has assigned, whether it's a quiz, a paper, a report, a Google slide presentation, 
but your directions will be clear and it will tell you what to do over here. You can also leave class comments here. So everybody can see them. Or you can leave your teacher private comments. You know, I don't get I don't get this assignment. I need help. And they will be able to reach out to you privately. So this is what you're going to need to do every day just to keep, you know, track of all your assignments. We don't want to fall behind. I know this is going to take some time getting used to and there's bound to be some bumps in the road, but we're going to get through this the way we always do, like a family. Please feel free to reach out to your teachers for help. We're still here for you guys, okay? Stay safe and remember there are no limits to what we can do.